Hey everyone and welcome to Electric Design. Today we'll be electrifying the Porsche Macan. The Porsche Macan is the small SUV from the German manufacturer who is generally known for its sports cars. But things have changed and today Porsche is making a lot of money out of their SUV lineup for almost 20 years. So it will be reasonable to assume the SUVs are the first model to go electric. And even that is no simple task to do in terms of investment, R&D, technology, and most importantly, brand perception. And all of that should come from a brand who specialized in building some of the best engines in the industry. I personally think the Macan is a great design. SUVs should be practical, high off the ground and cluttered with black plastic, along with other elements, creating a boxy shape and it's not easy to achieve an attractive proportions while the other cars in Porsche lineup are all-out sports cars with low profile and aerodynamic shape. But the Germans did it well, creating perhaps the most beautiful SUV on sale today, at least until the Alfa Tonello debut. So the sloped roofline combined with the curvy hunches creating a car to behold. Anyway, the Macan is an ice vehicle, which means it's highly pollutive and bad for the environment. So let's give it a fresh electrified look. My goal here is to create an electric model based on the underpinnings of the original car. I have no intention to create the most beautiful design or even the perfect of Photoshop render. I rather would like to create a quick visualization of an ecological alternative based on the original design philosophy and not to come up with something completely new that would break many design principles of the car and the brand visual appearance. I want it to be recognized as what it is, plus the fact that we are certainly talking about the electric version and not confusing it with something else. The Macan is not a sports car, it's rather a family car with spicy flavor, with the right amount of luxury and performance. But the front design is clearly meant to emphasize a sporty all-around feel, with lots of elements such as fins and air intakes, and they are everywhere. But with no gas engines at the front, there is no need for all that air to go through to cool the upset engine. Instead, I will make a much more unified look to the front for better drag coefficient while keeping the sporty approach. With that in mind, I'll have to make sure it looks Porsche-ish enough as well as an electric model. The first thing I want to do is to connect both sides of the front by a single bar running down beneath the shoulder line of the car in order to create an intense depth between the rest of the bumper and thus eliminating the feel that this car has no grille, a common issue with electric cars. At both ends, I created an air curtain supported by fins for a generally sporty and futuristic feel. The second element I want to include is the light bar. Light bars are one of the most hot and trendy elements in the auto industry right now. And Porsche, in that sense, is no exception. You can find light bars on most of the brand's models. In fact, every 911 is equipped with one. But with one exception, it's always at the back. I will import this feature to the front end design as well as to the side profile in order to drive the electric message home. And of course, no future car is complete without the future filter. There you go, an electric mechan. Who said electric cars are boring? There's a ton of electric designs coming your way. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.